Good day. So today we will be talking about arithmetic sequence. So before we basically describe arithmetic sequence as a sequence that were in the pattern is made by adding a constant term. So that's how we describe arithmetic sequence. But for today we will be dealing with this definition of arithmetic sequence. So it is a sequence that where each term after the first term is obtained by adding a constant term called common difference. And whenever that we are dealing with those problems involving arithmetic sequence, we may use the formula a sub n equals a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times d. So what does this representation mean? So from this formula, so a sub n means the last term. a sub 1, as we all know, means the first term. n represents the number of terms or the n term. So just like 5th, 23rd, and 41st. And d is the one that we do call common difference. So what is this common difference? So it is the difference between a term and its preceding term. Or in algebraic form, it is d equals a sub n minus a sub n minus 1. Okay. So let us try to use this formula in solving problems under arithmetic sequence. So this one. Find the 10th term of the arithmetic sequence 3, 9, 15. Okay. So since this problem falls under arithmetic sequence, use the formula a sub n equals a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times d. So let us find out the value of this representation. So a sub n means the last term. So the last term is something that is not present on the given problem. Therefore, our last term remains unknown. But the first term, it is evident that our first term is this number 3. Okay. How about our n? So, n means the number of terms or the n term. And what we do have on the problem is the 10th term. So, meaning our n is number 10. How about the common difference? So, for us to find the common difference, it is as simple as getting the difference of a number that, we, that is present on the sequence to be subtracted by the preceding number. So, here, we may choose number 9. And we are to subtract it by the number before it or the preceding number. So the preceding number from the number 9 is the number 3. So we are to subtract 3 from our number 9. So giving us our common difference making it equal to 6. But keep in mind that it is not always that we use the second term minus the first term. We may also use a different number or a different term. So if we decided to use the third term just like this one which is the number 15. Therefore, our computation for the common difference will become 15 minus the preceding number. And this time, the preceding number for that number 15 is the number 9. So, we will subtract it by 9. So, still, if we subtract 15 by 9, we still manage to get the same common difference, which is number 6. The same to what we had in using 9 minus 6. Okay, so it is your choice to which number you will use or which term rather you will use. Since we managed to complete all of those data, therefore, we may now use this information for us to find the 10th term. Let us see. Okay, so let us use the given formula under arithmetic sequence and let us do substitution for those representations. So first, we replace n by number 10 because it is the value of n. a sub 1 means the first term and our first term is that number 3. Our n is 10 and our common difference is 6. So therefore, our equation now transforms into a sub 10 equals 3 plus 10 minus 1 times 6. So we simplify step by step based on the order operation. So for this one, we start simplifying inside the quantity, which is 10 minus 1. And we all know that the answer is 9. So thus, our equation now becomes a sub 10 equals 3 plus 9 times 6. Order of operation again, we multiply first this part. So 9 times 6, we all know that the answer is 54. So that gives us 3 plus 54. Therefore, 3 plus 54, upon adding these two, that gives us the answer of a sub 10 equals 57. Okay? So meaning that the 10th term from the given sequence 3, 9, 15 is that number 57. So I hope that is clear to everyone. Keep in mind that since arithmetic sequence or sequence is something that happens in real life, we can still solve problems under arithmetic sequence even without using this formula. So we may use this method known as the listing method. Okay, so what is this listing method? 
Uh, remember, since that it is given that the sequence are the numbers 3, 9, 15, which represents the first term, the second term, and the third term, therefore, we can use these informations to find and further continue the sequence until we obtain the 10th term. But before we do that, we should be able to identify and unlock what the pattern behind the sequence. So in this case, we have the numbers 3, 9, 15. Upon analyzing, we can see that the pattern is by adding 6. And we may use this pattern to further continue our sequence until we got to the 10th term. So if we do have plus 6, therefore our 4th term will become what number? So 15 plus 6, that gives us 21. And another plus 6 to obtain the 5th term, that gives us 27. Another plus 6 to obtain the 6th term, which is 33. 33 plus 6, that gives us the 7th term, which is 39. 39 plus 6, that gives us the 8th term, which is 45. 45 plus 6 gives us the 9th term, which is 51. And the last one, the 10th term that we are looking for, so 51 plus 6, so 57. So just like what we had on our arithmetic sequence formula, we still managed to get the same value, which is the number 57. So whatever method that you use, so whether listening method or the formula under arithmetic sequence, you will still be able to get the same final answer. But for now, we need to focus on how to improve our skill in using the formula under arithmetic sequence. So let us have another example. What is the 30th term from the sequence negative 7, negative 12, 17? So just like what we did on our example on the first one, so we need to find those values needed in order for us to use the formula of arithmetic sequence. So the last term, as usual, which is still unknown, our first term, so based on our sequence, so it is obviously that negative 7, which is the first number based on the given sequence. The number of terms, so this time, our terms is ask for that, asking for the 30th term. So our n will be our number 30. And the common difference, so as always, we subtract for the process, we subtract the second term by the first term, which is negative 12 minus negative 7. So which gives us what value? So the answer is negative 5. Okay. So since we managed to complete all of this required data for us to use the arithmetic sequence formula, so let us now try to solve. Using the given formula again, a sub n equals a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1, let us replace those representations. So a sub n becomes 30 as the value of n. a sub 1 is our first term which is negative 7. n means the number of terms and our number of terms is 30. And our this is the common difference, so this time we do have negative 5. Let us rewrite our equation, making it a sub 30 equals negative 7 plus 30 minus 1 times negative 5. So as always, we start inside the quantity or the parentheses. So 30 minus 1, the answer is 29. Our equation now becomes a sub 30 equals negative 7 plus 29 times negative 5. So we simplify this part again. So we multiply 29 times negative 5, giving us a sub 30 equals negative 7 plus negative 145. To further simplify, so negative 7 plus negative 145, therefore, a sub 30 is equal to negative 152. Or the 30th term from the given sequence is 152. So I hope that is clear. Let us have more example, but this time, let us deal in applying this in real-life situation. Let us have this one. Jeline is a kinder pupil. On her first day of class, she got two star mark. Five star mark on the next day and eight star mark on the third day. If the pattern remains the same, how many star mark will she possibly get on her twelfth day of class? So, whenever that we are dealing with problem solving, so we must be able to identify the sequence behind the problem and what is being asked and how are we to use this information for us to solve the problem. So our sequence present on the problem are the numbers 2, 5, and 8. So coming from the 2 star mark, 5 star mark on the next day, and 8 star mark on the third day. Okay. And the question based from this sequence is, how many star mark will she possibly get on her 12th day? So in this case, 
So, for us to solve this using the formula, so we need to have this information. So, A sub n means the last term, and still, we don't know what the last term is. But we know what the first term is. So, the first term is, obviously, that number 2. Okay? Our number of terms, again, our n means the number of terms or the n term. So, here, what we do have is the 12th day. So, we're going to have number 12 as our n. And d is the common difference. So, as always, we usually get the difference between the second term and the first term. So, meaning, what we do have is 5 minus 2. And here, the difference is said to be 3. So, since we do have now enough data to solve the problem, let us now start. Okay? So, we do have a sub n becoming a sub 12 equals a sub 1 becoming 2 plus quantity n becoming 12 minus 1 times d, which is the common difference, which has the value of 3. Let us write the equation. a sub 12 equals 2 plus 12 minus 1 times 3. So, step by step, we start simplifying inside the quantity again. Again, based on the order of operation. So, 12 minus 1, that gives us 11. So, we do have now a sub 12 equals 2 plus 11 times 3. Then, we multiply 11 by 3. So, that gives us 2 plus 33. So, the 33 came from 11 times 3. So, to further simplify, so we get a sub 12 equals 35 coming from 2 plus 33. So, meaning that, okay, so based on our solution, therefore, Jeline might receive 35 star mark on her 12th day of class. So, probably that's how good Jeline is inside the class. Okay, so that's all for today under arithmetic sequence. I so hope you managed to understand how to use the formula under arithmetic sequence. Thank you for watching.